Hello and good afternoon everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel with a look at your afternoon video update for Thursday, March 24th. Kind of a breezy day across Wyoming again. We did have a few stronger gusts approach 40 miles an hour. Those winds will be settling down in the evening to light to breezy and continue into the early morning of Friday. Friday itself looking just a little bit cooler in the wake of a backdoor cold front, but overall conditions still fair with maybe a few more clouds and the small chance for a couple sprinkles in the morning in northern and eastern areas. Otherwise, statewide, we're looking dry. The weekend is looking quite mild. In fact, by Sunday into Monday of next week, near record high temps possible in the far eastern plains under a ridge axis that will be continuing eastward across the central and northern high plains. Beyond Monday, we're still looking to flip the script and turn unsettled once again with cooler temps and increased chances for rain and snow, especially Tuesday into Wednesday. Tonight again, those gusty winds will turn light to breezy in the overnight with a small chance for isolated rain and snow showers in far northern areas. The bullseye could be right around here, northern sections of Interstate 90 and the Bighorns themselves. Not really expecting road impacts from these showers, but the higher peaks of the Bighorns could see an inch maybe a couple inches possible into early Friday. Otherwise, most everyone else will be dry. Friday, pretty much the same, slightly cooler, maybe a few daytime sprinkles in northern and eastern areas. Otherwise, a typical nice-looking Friday, light to breezy winds with a few afternoon gusts of 30 to 40 miles an hour in the wind-prone areas, most notably on I-80 from Arlington to Elk Mountain. Forecasted daytime road impacts, really nothing to worry about, and this should continue for Friday night into early Saturday as well. What does the weekend look like? Well, it kind of looks like that. A broad ridge of high pressure blanketing much of the Intermountain West right around the state of Wyoming and the Rockies with a nice west to southwesterly flow coming in from the desert states, and that's going to pump up those temperatures, especially by Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon, continuing into Monday as that ridge makes its way eastward. But as we look off to the west in the Pacific, we have this trough right here. This will likely be our main player beyond Monday of next week, maybe possibly moving into the Four Corners region, winding up over the Central Plains and giving us a chance for rain and snow through the middle of next week. May have to take a look at this guy right here as well. Still parked well off in the Gulf of Alaska. Could play a part in our weather as we get beyond the middle of next week. Hopefully tomorrow's video we can start to pinpoint some of the finer details. Until then, have yourself a great Thursday and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.